We're going to now uh, do the, the PSA or posterior superior alveolar nerve block. Um, again, that will numb the third molar, second molar, and like mm -hmm. half of the first molar, basically. Okay. Really, for any upper teeth with lidocaine, you can simply do um, a local infiltration. Um, I'll show you, show you that in a minute. Um, but you know, sometimes if they're very infected, if they have an abscess, uh, you're not going to be able to get it numb unless you do the nerve block. Okay, you need to go uh, you know, further back um, you know, towards their brain, basically, um, further along the, the nerve trunk. Okay? Um, so for this, uh, I'm going to use a mirror here. You probably have retractors you can use. And obviously, using your finger is not a great idea here. Uh, we're gonna we're trying to reach around the back of the maxillary tuberosity, which is the the bump uh, of, on their gums or a bone uh, right behind their last molar. There. Um, when I do this, I'm close down some form. I'm gonna have the patient close down halfway until the the lower jaw sort of drops back like his just did, and. I'm basically going in 45 degrees in three dimensions, okay? Up, back, and inward. All right, we're trying to go around the back of that, okay? Close down a little bit for me, okay? And usually half a cartridge of uh, lidocaine is sufficient. Okay, I'm just gonna give him a little bit there. Um, a really good um, test for teeth to know whether they're actually numb is to use cold. So if we use a refrigerant spray, but you could use a piece of ice. Uh, if they can't feel the cold, the tooth is numb, okay? You're gonna know with your patients, really, whether they're numb, because they just say, oh, I'm out of pain now. And that's obviously what you guys are, are going for, okay? Since we don't use uh, cartridges in the ER, how much uh, cc's is a half a cartridge? Um, that's, that's, that would be 18 milligrams, okay. or 0.9 mils, so 2%. Okay. Okay. Our, our cartridges are, are 1.8 mils. Okay. Okay. Um, so that was a PSA. So you're basically going in maybe two thir uh, three quarters of the way of this, of this short needle, um, 45 degrees, you know, around the back of the second or third molar, whatever they have. And um, you, you're, you're going, you know, up, back, and inward 45 degrees. It actually tends to kick in better. We'll usually sit patients up after we do that. Uh, the anesthetic gets to the right position. It helps you if you're a little bit off. Uh, 